Write 2.58 times 10 to the power of 5 in simple form. This number is in standard form. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with numbers like this. I'm not going to give you a full mathematical explanation, just some tips on how to handle these numbers. Standard form is a way of writing any number as a number between 1 and 10 multiplied by an integer power of 10. So, write 2.58 times 10 to the power of 5 in simple form. I'll write the number down, 258. The 5 tells me how many places I need to move the decimal point. So, the decimal point was here, and I need to move it 5. 1, 2, I'll need another 0, that's 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 258000. Write 3.98 times 10 to the minus 3 in simple form. In this case, the minus tells me that I need to move the decimal point in the opposite direction. So I'll write down 3, 9, 8. The decimal point was here, and I need to move it 1, and then I'll need another 0, 2, another 0, 3. And it's usual to put a zero in front of the decimal point as well. So the answer is 0 0.00398. What is 930900 in standard form? Now I'll need to write it as the first number, 9, followed by a decimal point, 30900, zero, 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 multiplied by 10 to some power. We need to see how far we've moved the decimal point. Where was the decimal point in this original number? It was here. So I'd moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. I'd moved it 5 places to the left, so that is times 10 to the power of 5. Now you can see with this number I could ignore those two zeros on the number here. So I can write it as 9.309 times 10 to the power of 5. Let's just try this with another number. So if I was to write down 837 0.24. In standard form, it's going to be 8.3724 times 10 to a power. I've moved the decimal point one, two places, so the power is two. What is this number in standard form? Now we really must avoid using numbers like this because we're going to make a mistake handling all of these zeros. So it's much better to put this into standard form before we use it. We're going to write down 6.35 times 10 to the power. So we've got to find out what that power is. Now this time we're moving the decimal point to the right. So the power will be a minus number. Let's see how many places we move it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the power is minus because I've been moving it to the right. Minus 10. If we just check these two numbers, 
This is a positive power of 10 because this is a large number. This number is a small fraction, so it has a negative power of 10. 